welcome to Monster Motors. So today is a very good day. I've been waiting for today for a long, long time. So if you join me in my car today, it's it's about half past five in the morning and it's already quite a nice day to be fair. It's been sunny the whole way. And uh, basically today I'm heading up to St Albans, just sort of north of London. And uh, we're having a full custom exhaust made. So what I'm having done is a catback system from uh, a company called EMP Performance. Now they use uh, power flow parts, um, so they will literally build you an exhaust for your car, like the same day and all that sort of stuff. So I need to get there for 8 a.m. So hence the early start, but it's definitely going to be worth it. So what I'm going to be having is just one single silencer in the centre where funnily enough I had the centre box removed and no back box but I'm going to be keeping the valves from the original system so when I stick it into sport mode it will get louder and all that good stuff. So yeah the reason why I'm having a single centre pipe uh, silencer in the centre is because uh, they recommend it to reduce in-cabin drone. So since I removed uh, this box, there has been a bit more drone in the car, but I was expecting that because obviously it's getting louder, there's a less, one silencer less and all that sort of stuff. But I said, with having it in the center and no back box, it sort of keeps it quieter more towards the front of the car and all the noises towards the back. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. But my favourite bit about it will be the tips. Now, I won't tell you what they are just yet. I'm going to wait and show you them because, well, I've been wanting tips like these for God knows how many years. I wanted them on my old car, but I just couldn't find anywhere that done them. And I just didn't even think about custom, going fully custom to have them made. But, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is input a bit of footage uh, from before so I went out yesterday recorded a launch control a comfort mode drive-by and a sports mode drive-by just so you could sort of hear the difference uh, between stock exhaust and then modified exhaust so hopefully you will see a couple clips of that and then I'll meet you there now the car's already downstairs and they've started work on it but we'll go for a quick walk around the waiting area just have a quick look but yeah we'll go check out the exhaust shortly and here we should have Sam walking towards us as always <laughs> yeah just like all the various tips that you can sort of choose from and these are the ones that I'm having on mine so four of them should look quite nice but I don't know if I should have just gone for like one of these either side, nice and big. Passes the fist test quite easily. But yeah, so like air filters, wheels, just all sorts. They're actually really quite nice. Some more tip choices. But yeah, let's uh, go head downstairs and have a look. So there's the old one. And there's the valves that I think going to get replaced in here. So there's that center silencer. Then what there is, there's going to be a box in there, then four branching out. And then two of them are going to have the valves in. And once the valves are open, it's a straight pipe. When it's closed then, should be nice and quiet but still sporty. So let's see it again when there's a bit more progress. So a bit of time has passed and the rest of the exhaust is on there now. 
just looks so nice. so much better already. So it's about a week later since I had the exhaust done and the reason for this is because when uh, we was up doing the actual exhaust itself oh, stupid traffic yeah so we were doing the exhaust we well I say we they were doing all the exhaust they got it all finished and whatnot turned it on as uh, you probably heard the first start and it sounds amazing it's just so much deeper and just got a nicer tone to it than the standard but what we found was the valves weren't working so we tried out quite a few things to see what it was and it turns out uh, in comfort mode valves are meant to be shut so nice and quiet sport mode is when they should open and upon testing when I stuck it into sport mode the valves would open and then close straight away so that meant it was the valves were shut at all times we couldn't figure out what it was we tried swapping the modules over that didn't fix it so basically I had one of my friends, he's got Vagcom, we plugged it in, it said the, val the valves were installed so they should have been working but we tried it again, it wasn't working. So what we've done now is we've told the car that valves are not installed which means that they're open at all times. So I don't have the quietness in the comfort mode but to be fair it's not too loud and inside so it's not too much of a problem. But if we just have another look, I know the car's a bit dirty but that's just what happens so there's the burnt tips and there's back pressure out of both tips which means the valves are open so it's it's just quite a nice sound and um so yeah what you might notice is that's a different color to what it was before now i'm going to save that for the next video as i want to talk about a few things that i've done on the car since then a couple activations and so they're just a few cool things and what is going to happen with the car as I've got a couple of ideas of what I want to do with it now. So I'm going to explain all of that in the next video. And also another video I want to do is just sort of do a complete review on, on the car. So on all the mods I've done, the exhaust, the stage one, everything. So I just want to do brand new up to date video just covering everything that's been on the, done on the car. Explain what's been done the like the new power all that sort of stuff just go full into depth about it and just do a complete review as i've been wanting to do it for ages and now that i've got the exhaust done it's it's pretty much where i want it the only thing on the outside that i want to change is obviously lower it so hopefully that will come within the next month or two as <laughs> i really want to do that it's just it's been i mean the wheels look pretty good I definitely think it suits this colour much more than it did when the car was black. So just lowering it that little bit more, well a little bit more, just lowering it in general will just make it sit nicer and the wheels are going to suit it so much better. So sorry it took uh, so long for this video to come out, I've been meaning to get it done quite soon but it's just been taking some time to sort out the badge comm and all that and just get it sounding just right. So yeah. I'm Thanks for watching guys, if you liked it make sure to drop it a like and subscribe for plenty more videos coming in the future and they're going to be coming at a, more, a lot more steadier pace now as hopefully uh, there shouldn't be anything going wrong, fingers crossed. 
So yeah, everything should be going as planned and yeah, so I will catch you in the next video. Cheers guys. <laughs>